What is going on YouTube? One only extra here. Welcome to the channel. Today, we're at a 2018 Camaro SS 1LE. I'm excited to drive. This is my first Camaro after driving so many Challengers. Right, so here we go. Let's see what she's got. <laughs> wow. This thing is 455 pound-feet of torque, 455 horsepower, and it is like that. So, so good. Third gear, second gear, <laughs> transmission's very smooth. The throws are very easy. The clutch, it's got a little weight to it, but it's actually, it's in between what the Corvette and what the Hellcat was. The brakes are very strong. The initial bite is, is there. It's not very like jerky, but there's plenty of power. You can feel that, and as you need to lean on them more, they become more powerful. I mean, they are six piston Brembo, so they do their job very well, especially for the weight of this car. It's around 3,800. First Camaro I've ever driven, and yeah. <laughs> One of the biggest things that this car has is balance, and you feel that at speed. The steering of this car has a great, great weight and feel to it, and we're in sport mode right now. Let's go one more. Let's go, let's see here. We're on track. Everything's a little peppier. Everything's a little harsher. The turn, the steering wheel gains, gives even more weight. It almost has that hydraulic feel to it. What's really great about this Camaro SS 1LE is the driving modes. You know, you have your standard, you have your track, touring, snow and ice. Sport was what I was just in. And then uh, track can be tuned even further so it can turn off active stability control, your traction control, and all that stuff off and really make it a fun car if you know what you're doing. For a car that's 40 grand, that's amazing tech that's in it. And <laughs> it just makes it a blast to freaking drive. Let's talk about the ride quality of this beautiful Camaro SS 1LE. You think with the 1LE that it'd be tracked out harsh because the ZL 1LE is actually a very stiff riding car. This all with the magnetic suspension, it is plush. And when it needs to stiffen up and we go in the track mode, yeah, we bounce around a little bit, but because of this suspension, it soaks up all these bumps. It's just individual. You don't notice it on either end. When you hit a little dip on one side, you don't feel a transition through the whole car. It's just that one little spot. And the ride quality is amazing. These seats, while they look super bolstered and tight, they're not. Well, they are bolstered, but they're not tight. They're super, super comfortable. One thing I loved about the Challenge is you can go for a long drive and not be beat to hell because the car was just so supple. The seats were really nice and padded. It was a comfortable, almost GT style car. This is pretty much the same with a little bit of aggression. There's a little bit more sportiness to it. And that really leans to, is it a muscle car or is it a sports car? Me personally, I think it's that beautiful in-between that not a lot of manufacturers nail and this Camaro, I think does it really well. This car has so many different driving modes. Right now we're in the most extreme one, track mode for race, <laughs> which means we're kind of on our own. And there we go. Oh, there's a no lift shift. <laughs> What an invention, <laughs> no lift, shift. Oh man, is that fun. But everything turned off, I gunned it. That road back there had a ton of gravel on it and it did not spin nearly as much as I thought it would. This chassis is so, so planted that it makes you feel like a hero driving this. Yeah, you're gonna screw yourself over, but because the power isn't anything crazy, you're not just gonna blow the tires off no matter what you do. And that's what I love about this particular package. It's not crazy high horsepower like ZL1 1LE, which is 650 and 650. That I think would be a handful. This car, it's not a handful. And the owner daily drives this car, which tells you a lot about one, the comfortability of it, and two, the usability of it. So I wanna talk about a little bit about visibility. One thing that's kind of plagued Camaros a little bit is rear window visibility. And yeah, it's a little lacking. Your B pillars as well, they're kind of in the way. I don't think they're nearly as bad as the Challenger. The Challenger B pillars are super wide. And your windows here being a little narrow, it's tough to kind of look around them. But 
but the visibility out the front isn't bad at all. You know, you're used to the vet where the fenders are much higher. This doesn't really have that problem. You can really see where the nose is pointed. And because the steering's so precise, you're gonna go where you turn the wheel. It's just that good. What an epic freaking experience. The steering is so precise. It's got a great feel and a great weight to it. One of the most important things that for cars for me that make them great performance want cars is the brakes. And these being a six piston Brembo calipers, it's actually got decent feel. It doesn't do a ton right away, but there's actually a little bit of bite and it's very, very strong and progressive when you need it to be. Then it makes it a great daily driver because anytime you touch the brakes, you're not just whiplashing yourself, it's awesome. Now when we think about Camaros, I personally love the old school, late 60s to early 70s, but they lost me. They lost me from the 70s all the way through early 2000s, even 2015. I wasn't a fan of the models and the body styles from the really boxy, god awful to the wedge shape, even to the fifth generation ones where the front ends, eh, they didn't kind of, they kind of look like the old ones, but not really. And the performance wasn't really there. Not only that, the interiors are terrible on the fifth generation cars. Well, it's 2018 Camaro SS. The interior is amazing. The one I leave with the Recaro seats are so soft, so plush, and it looks beautifully finished. They've had that, you know, 20 years of, eh, now look at these things. The front end of this car, holy crap, is it menacing looking. I'm gonna put on these canards. It's got that sweet ZL1 1LE like front end to it. And he's got a splitter coming. It's gonna look even more mean. In this black, it's just sinister. It's such a great looking car. What really surprised me the most about this Camaro SS 1LE is not only the handling, but the electronics that are in it. I know, X-Ram, ton of electronics. You always talk about them. That's because I'm a nerd. I love technology. And this car is jam packed with it. You have, like I mentioned before, you have your driver modes, but within your track mode, you have like six other settings to go through. For a car at this price point to have all these different levels of settings, it's impressive. And for the package, you're getting one heck of a bang for your buck of a car, and it keeps you safe, but at the same time, it allows you to play a little bit. I didn't really play with the MyLink system too much. The one that was in the Corvette, I kind of hated. It's very slow, dimwitted, it didn't really respond well. I believe it's been upgraded since then. You know, it's five year old, so this is five years newer than what that car is. So it should have a much better system, and I think it is. That freaking no lift shifting, <laughs> it's a game changer. Once you get that nice clutch feel, and you cannot just dump the clutch and make it a ridiculous shift, it is so smooth. Like I said, it's almost like a quick shift on a motorcycle. If they got rid of the clutch application, well, then it's an automatic, right? But it's so good. It's such a fun feature. But I can't thank Tommy enough for allowing me to take his beautiful 2018 Camaro SS 1LE out on this beautiful day here in Arizona to really rip around the streets because it's a fun car. I encourage all of you, if you're in the sports car or muscle car range and that's what you're looking for, give the Challenger a try, then give this a try, give your Mustang a try. I think you're gonna be torn between this and the Challenger because of the comfort level and the interior quality but man this car absolutely blew my mind i know i think it sounds like i say that a lot but i tell you what man i haven't driven a bad car yet and this uh this is up there when it comes to the nsx's that i reviewed the steering on this was i mean it's not a huge gap between the two as far as the feel goes it's that good so i hope you all enjoy this video i hope you all enjoy this review it's in the sense of how it feels to drive and that's kind of where we're headed with all my videos if you want to see more badass pictures of this car check out tommy's instagram i'm going to put it here or here i don't know there'll be a screenshot of his instagram page go check it out with that you all have a good one i'm out